thank you for watching. This is Primal Mago here. I'm bringing you a the engineering guard. Um, I'm here on Daemonham. I really have time hard time pronouncing that. And these are the items that you can get as a reward for doing dungeoneering. Dungeoneering is a skill, just like any other, which, in my opinion, it should be a mini game, you know, where you get rewards and stuff like that. But um, no, uh, actually, when I first started on dungeoneering, it was um, annoying. It was pretty hard. So I will be showing you some of the stuff that I learned by myself and um, yeah here as you can see on my right hand side I got um, a couple of the chaotic I had all of them including this one the chaotic Kaishio but I lost the PKN which it was a fail so I stopped but um, yeah let's see um, I'll show you the items and their bonus stats and whatever they have to offer. Um, let's see. Should have done this before recording, but oh well. Now we. Oh, nice. Fail. Anyways, here we are. Let's start off with the chaotic wall. As you can see, this is insane. It can be boosted with other equipment, but uh, this is just normal. That is insane. 167. Really, really badass weapon to get. This is this works good on water fiends. But um yeah, I'm not gonna show you all of them because this is a dungeoneering guide and not what the weapons are for. But yeah, these are um, really good. They have good stats. You know, the Reaper for dragons and stuff like that. Uh, alright, let's continue with the guide. Um First off, uh, to get here, if you've never been here before, what you need to do is take a boat of Arkwright west of the bank, and it'll take you so um, southeast of here. Just run northwest, and, you, and you'll come up over here. Next step you have to do is uh, come over here, talk to his uh, dungeoneering tutor, and he will give you this ring. Um, to start a dungeoneering game you have to activate it and then you get this screen form a party and there's your name now uh, the main walls to do this is world 77 world 17 I'm pretty sure everybody knows that by now but um, you invite players you know by clicking here and then or you can just right hand click and invite um, when doing a floor, best the best Morse XP you can get is five out of five, pretty much. But um, you can do three out of five. That way, you still do large floors and get more XP. At the moment, I stopped engineering because I wanted to get max. Um, I want to be max first of all, so I can um open every single door. But um. Yeah, uh, to get best XP, do 5 out of 5 on Complicity 6. Uh, these are the floors that I have access to, all the way to 53. But um, everybody starts on floor 1. Floor 1. And Complicity, this pretty much means how hard the floor is going to be. At Complicity 1, you will get 50% penalty, but it's only combat. Uh, complicity 2, they add more skills that you have to do, and it's 45% penalty. Now, uh, Complicity 3, uh, they add more skills as well, but you get 40% penalty. Um, complicity 4, more skills, 35%, and so on and so on. So, Complicity 6, where you get no penalty, but you have to open every door to get max XP. Now I will be doing a dungeon or a floor by myself. Hopefully it does not take long. And I will be recording it so it'll be a quick one. Uh, this is to avoid um this is not a bank video guys. <laughs> See everything is all messed up. 
but yeah, uh, this is to avoid any um any delays. I will show you how I do it. That way, if you happen to see this, um, let me do it. Um, well, you can you can pretty much do dungeoneering by yourself on medium, and you get pretty well XP. But since I've done this already, um, I won't get that much XP. Now let me tell you about the binds. You get um, pretty much four binds. Um, in the whole dungeoneering, um, so I'm trying to see uh, milestones here. Um, okay, milestones are here. A level, f a level one, pretty much. You get one bind. You can bind anything. I recommend you bind. Um, a weapon if you have like a really high combat you might want to get a two-hander regardless of your attack level so you can pretty much go for the best that you can wield a uh, 50 you will be able to bind two a lot of people like to bind a chest plate which is in here it's great great defense which is really good and a weapon regardless whether you're a major a uh, ranger or just melee so uh, engineering 100 you can buy three items between these levels then to 100 you should be able to bind um, or you should get a uh, what is it called a shadow silk hood these are dropped by nice spiders on five out of five large and you will get these shadow silk hoods what they do is they protect you from uh, certain um, creatures, monsters that are in here, I have binded the Promethean two hander sword and Primal Play Body with the Shadow Silk Hood, which is really really good. Now, when you appear here, you will get food, you will get some really good items to start out with. Um, you can just pretty much collect the food, uh, collect the items, and then come to this guy and sell the items. Yeah, sell the items, and here's a really good tip: always buy these. And if you're doing it with a group of five, buy all of them, uh, um, as much as you can, pretty much, and then just drop them here so your friends or r random people that you dance with, so they can have one. You know, that way, no way. Like when you're, you need, let's say. 90 wood cutting but yours is only 60 and you're just there you're right here in front waiting for that person to come so, and then they finally get here and like oh my god I don't have a wood cutting axe or a hatchet now that they change it and now they have to teleport back and get it so just buy them this if you have the money and they'll get it and pick it up and that way if everybody has tools the dungeon will go by so fast my dungeon floors are higher levels I get from 100 to 160 k xp that's if not on die now if you die within the dungeon you will lose xp as a penalty so let's get started and um yeah oh nice i gotta do a minor loss yeah hopefully it's not it doesn't take long should be quick it's um yeah it won't take long but yeah guys uh Try to do this as fast as possible, so you know. Pretty much, people get bored. They they dislike this um skill because um they say that it's boring. Yeah, it's boring if you're doing one hour plus dungeons. Come on, you, the thing the, the the fast thing to do here is to do this as fast as possible, which. You know, in terms, I'm referring to under 30 minutes. And then some non-members will probably watch this and be like, Wow, under 30 minutes for 5 out of 5 large dungeon? That's insane. Trust me, guys. It's not. It's fairly easy if you have a good team. And rage quitters, I don't, I can't stand rage quitters. Leechers, mm, not a big fan either, but if they're paying for the floor, what can you do, you know? But, um, at the moment, I don't sell floors, I don't do dungeoneering as much, because I'm trying to get max. I am working on 99 smithing, 
and um, pretty much from there I'll do some um, Slayer and some summoning but for now this is a quick guide on um, dungeoneering um, there's some dungeons, some doors like this it's a guardian door pretty much it means you cannot get through here unless the whole floor is cleaned uh, the basic concept of dungeoneering means you get these keys right here and match it with this door and it opens it so what you're trying to do is uh, quickly as fast as possible uh, I'm not gonna waste my time but quickly as fast as possible open all the doors that you can um, there, are, there will be some doors where you have to be potted because you know it's ridiculous what they ask for they're asking for a hundred plus um, levels which yeah they can be boosted which is why I'm trying to get a hundred or ninety nine being max on everything uh, some doors like this one where you just have to dispel it just run do it don't worry about the monsters because it's not a guardian door you don't have to kill them so just run through here oh this is a fail there's nothing there uh, yeah just run back and um, try to get open every door quick uh, do the boss quick as well and for some people you know who are new players and um, you get to a point where you're stuck you know uh, oh a dragon wow are you serious a dragon come on uh, don't kill me on a is this a guardian door no it's not but I won't be able to open the door but give me a second Wow, a dragon. That <laughs> wow. But yeah, see easy to take care of. Make sure that you know oh crimson. Make sure that you know how to um kill everything in here. Whether that being from um from regular monsters to the bosses. Uh a quick tip, set your um uh, your quick prayers to only mage. See how I just press that? Only mage. You 99% of the time here, you're gonna be protecting from magic. You know? If you had the shadow cell hood, pretty much you're protected from everything except for um except from um the majors. Majors, you know, oops, what can you do about them? But uh, yeah guys, that's a good tip right there. Select your prayers for only magic so just quickly push it and quickly take it off when you don't need it so if you have um, low, pr low prayer I suggest get it a little bit higher because the higher your prayer is the longer you will last in here so that's a good tip uh, yeah pretty much if you are not keen uh, keen means you are the one holding the keys and you're the one's gonna be opening everything if you're not keen and you happen to stumble upon our key please type it and tell the keyer that you have that key because I've had experiences where I literally am just you know running back and forth back and forth looking for that stupid key and turns out somebody had it all this time so if you're keen with a group of five and you have a key please let the keyer know so that um, he or she can um, get the dawn the the, the the oh crap I started so that they can um get the floor down quicker it's good for them good for you everybody wins at the end of the dungeon um another tip would be learn all these puzzles you know they're really simple puzzles that you know come on who doesn't know how to do this right here fairly simple move this this way and that's it the doors unlocked um yeah uh open every door quick oh another monologue wow um yeah guys um i should probably pause this till i get to the boss or you know no i'm not i'm just gonna keep recording because there's gonna be a couple of stuff that you might want to um ask or if not i'll tell you uh, if you watch this be sure to um, uh, subscribe because uh, I will be making a further or
if I get comments on this and people watch it and they ask questions I will be telling you guys uh, answering the questions that you post on there that way um you know because if you have a question just ask anybody if you're in school anywhere have a question ask that's how you learn and this is pretty much a guide on the engineering so you learn so pay attention ask questions and just you know learn from it uh, a monolith here it charges like this and this um, shades pretty much what they do is just blast at it and lower your charges so what you want to do is kill them and take care of that pretty easy self explanatory so a lot of people already know about that uh, also um, if you're like me like right now doing it by yourself attack one of them and go for the next one that way the monolith is charging while you're being you're attacking them and they're not reducing your charges so just do that real quick get that over with um what else yeah like i was saying earlier know the bosses a lot of people just spend time on one boss up to an hour and that's a oh look at this lag uh yeah one hour on a boss come on that is too much don't tell me I got oh my god look at this guys three monoliths is this a oh I'm doing a medium oh that's a fail on my part sorry guys oh I should have done this from all um anyways I'll still keep recording um yeah uh dungeon Union, mine is at 106 it is so easy to level up when you're higher combat, higher um, engineering because, oh, I forgot to mention this. Hold on. Let me take care of this monolith and I'll explain it. Pretty much what you need in engineering is prestige, or is, if that's how you pronounce it, prestige. Prestige is what gives you most XP at the end of the dungeon. So, try to get as much teach as possible a quick tip I forgot to mention uh, in the beginning of this is to reset your um, your um, process back to zero once you have done every single floor why um, some people if I'm pretty sure everybody knows that by now but if you don't here's the reason why every time you reset um, you you will prestige and like I was saying, prestige is what levels you up here. So don't forget that it's vital that you reset when you have every floor done. Now you don't have to go in order when um, doing your floors again. Uh, what I like to do is um, what I like to do is uh, hang on. What I like to do is do my. Uh, my C ones, which means complexity one, one through one through thirty. That's what I do. C one, one through thirty. I do them as fast as I can, and be out, and then get back to C um, five five C six, and pretty much doing one through thirty. Uh, that would be a waste of time if I was doing a large, all that. So do them fast. Find a group. That you can do that with you know complicity one do it fast as possible and get back to I said I would suggest do the last 10 or the last um, 20 depending on your engineering level the last ones do them on complicity six and do them fast or not fast but we well, got yeah, fast that's the main point of engineering oh come on I should have gotten uh, let me kill this guy real quick. He's gonna bother me if I don't do that. Uh, okay. You know what? Having a medium, medium dungeon floor is not so bad because I can explain more um, puzzles. This puzzle is very simple. You see these guys over there? You have to mimic or mirror them on this side. So what I'm gonna do is um, you pull it this way and then come over here pull it this way one more um, 
then push come over here and push it that way now they're aligned with that so now you come over here and look at these um, I gotta pull this one and put it over here in the corner and yeah pretty much this is it guys just get that one um, aligned with the other ones and um, a new pull it again and again now come on this side and push it into the door shut unlock see now come this way open this oh yeah another thing the group gate stone the group gate stone is uh, pretty much uh, like a, a checkpoint or a safe point what you do is you can teleport to this by these right here group gate stone boom you teleport uh, I would suggest getting your uh, room craft into a minimum 54 so you can be able to make them let's see which ones I got left let's go to this one yeah I would suggest get that done so that um you can uh, teleport also really really important thing make um these uh group guy stones you need um cosmics I don't need to go over there right now you need cosmics to make um to make those uh this this is gonna be a long video I, I did not want that but uh yeah guys make cosmics uh teleport with this cosmics which, which means you can pretty much you can make as many as possible or as much as you can or want and um uh with the cosmics you can make different checkpoints where you can always teleport back to them and that's a really really good um tip that i forgot to mention that in the beginning um make sure you have plenty of those because people will tell you hey gate this and you're like what the hell is he talking about yeah if somebody tells you gate something gate it there's a reason why because it'll save so much time so so much time instead of just walking back there like this is a medium dungeon I've done large where all the cubes all the squares are done and um yeah it takes forever to run back from one point to the other when you could just easily push a button and be there in half a second so yes guys do that uh take that advice and get your room crafting to a minimum of 54 so you can make uh is it 54 i don't know somebody will correct me eventually um yes um get that done um i'm almost done guys i apologize i should have made this smaller but um yeah uh, i also did a rookie mistake as well because i didn't oh this is a guardian door we gotta kill this guy where are you where are you there we go kill it kill it yeah uh, I should have made some cosmics so I can teleport back but oh well this is um quick tutorial um I will be um open to suggestions um if you guys comment on this and say oh you did this wrong or uh, can you tell me how to do this anything you ask in the comments I will be more than happy to answer um, if you um, if you watch this please subscribe also um do I have yeah I got the key so just come over here open it please subscribe also I'm always on um uh, let's go kill the boss right now since I went in by accident oh look at that lag see this this boss right here what you have to know about him is there's gonna be two meat meat piles um there's gonna be two meat piles one here one there stand in front of it so he doesn't eat and regain his health that's the all i can say or you can protect from magic uh oh look at this lag guys wow um uh, yeah um that's all you have to do is stand at, at the end and pretty much just stay there um i'm always online 
So if you, any of you guys need help, feel free to message me. I have it off for the reason is because I'm making a video um, or a guide. But um, if you're online and you have a problem or if you need, if you're a member pretty much, if you're a member and you watch this guide and you need help, feel free to message me and I'll see what I'm doing and I'll come over and help you out with the floor. Um, I'm not the best engineering, engineer, but I'm not bad either. I know how to do stuff, how to uh, pretty much do all of it. So, um, yeah, guys, don't forget to subscribe. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, well, see, it's also a good thing that I died because a lot of people are scared of dying. Um, they think they'll lose their stuff, but no, your stuff will be safe. Oh, let me get back there before that thing starts eating. Um, yeah, if you die, um, don't worry about it. You can always come back. You see the portal I came through? You can always use it to get back here. Uh, see the, gray, the group gravestone? The, pretty much if you die with it, you can always teleport right back to where you came from. So, that's it guys. I killed a um, boss. Um, it's a guide. Uh, so I don't really have to open every single door, which I'm not because it was supposed to be a quick one. Um, yeah, um, that's about it, guys. Um, <laughs> most deaths. Wow. Yeah, yeah. See, my prestige is zero. The reason why is because I already did this floor. 21 minutes for this floor was ridiculous long. I can actually do this under five minutes. But I took long because I was explaining. But yeah, guys, um, this is the guide. If you have any questions, please, you know, don't forget to ask questions. Um, do it in comments. You can message me on. You can message me on um, um, on here on RuneScape. Message me on YouTube. I'm always checking those. Uh, I will be posting this pretty soon. So, um, feel free to um, hit the like button as well. Thank you guys for watching, and I will be making a party for 99 smithing and 99 herbivore well pretty soon. So, thank you guys for watching, and this is it. <laughs> Good luck, engineering guys. Don't forget, don't rage quit. Always keep positive, and keep at it. Um, eventually trust me it will add up and the ho the higher you get the better you'll get uh look for this rare item the shadow so good for lower levels it's really good um there's other i there's other um items that you can wield but that's for a different video but um yeah guys uh, also also before i leave if anybody stayed and watched the whole video at the end right now I'm about to be 99 smithing. So if you watch this video and you want an, any armor made, anything in here made, please uh, let me know and I'll be more than happy to help you out and make you from anything, anything, from medium play body to legs, cats to gun, anything. Just let me know and I will make the armor for you guys. So thank you for watching. Please subscribe and I'll see you in my next video. See you guys. Peace.